Hi everybody, I'm Callie Coy and I need real friends. Okay, I'm gonna set some guideline rules for this thing. I want my friend group to have six people including me, so I need to pick five people. I don't want them all to be girls, so I'm going three girls and two boys. I don't know why I did it this way. And they all have to fill a specific role in the friend group. And that's what I'm picking these five people for. First off, I'm going from Harry Potter and I'm going Luna Lovegood. And I feel like she'd be the weird friend because all these people are gonna be kind of weird. But like, she's the weird friend. She's the friend you can get weird with. She, you can tell her all your crazy like theories and she'd just be like, oh yeah, it's probably like this magical creature. And like, she's the one who kind of is like, fun to like be a little bit out there with like not in like the go party kind of sense but like weird and to yourself still like not like call the scene or anything but just like do what you want and not care what anyone else is thinking like if you tell her you want to go to like a party dressed up as something she'd probably be like yeah i'm down let's go and then you guys could like hang out with each other and like she'd get it because she wouldn't she wouldn't like be judgy because people think she's crazy all the time and i feel like i'd get along really well with her so she's my weird friend no and then i'd have peter mark who'd be like the big brother friend i feel like he's nice me and him both like to i like to bake cakes can't decorate him he likes to decorate cakes we could be like baking buddies he's like the friend who has the crush on the girl so like he's the one who always is like you, you talk to him about boys you like, he talks to you about Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> and like, I feel like he'd be a really good like big brother type friend. He's like really nice not, and like not too intimidating, but like still like a good friend. He has your back. Next we have Tylee, who would be the like big sister kind of friend, I think. I feel like she'd be like the friend you go to when you need help with fashion or when you need help with boys because she knows what she's doing. She's like Miss Popular, she's all that, but she's still kind of like fun and nice and she's never like mean to people. Even when she's fighting people in Avatar, she's still like a generally nice person. When she'd be the one who's like, oh, I need to go to the mall or I need help with this boy and Peta thinks too much like a boy so I can't ask him. I feel like she'd drag me out to a party because I never like to leave my house and she'd be like the one who's like, come on, let's go. It'll be fun. And then her partner in crime would probably be Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians, not just general Jack Frost who makes it cold. He's the fun friend, we'll put it that way. He's the one who's like, plays around a little too much, but you still love him. And he's nice and he's like the fun one. So he's the one who makes sure you're not spending all your time at home doing work or like focusing too much on all like the boring stuff on life he's he's literally the guardian of fun so it's his his role in the friend group is to make sure everyone still has fun and lastly is who i think would be my best friend and that is rapunzel from tangled because we have a lot of same interests we both like baking she can join she can join in on the baking with Peta. we both like knitting we both like reading we both apparently have a thing for really long hair, as, as do all the other girls in this group. What the heck? <laughs> and I feel like me and her have very similar personalities and we get along really well. And I also feel like she'd be so down to go like, oh, I wanna go on this road trip to go see this like pretty view, let's go. And she'd like come with you. And that'd be my friend group. It'd be Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, Peter Malark from The Hunger Games, Tylee from Avatar The Last Airbender, Jack Frost from Rise of the Guardians, and Rapunzel from Tangled. And I feel like I tried to pick people who would get along for the most part. Like, I think that, I think that like, they'd all like think Luna was a little weird, but we'd all love her because she's like fun and herself and that's endearing. And like, no one would like not like anyone else too much because it's all much, cause they're all like just nice people to get along with. And I, pick, I tried to pick people who are inherently just nice and not like rude, not too like sarcastic and like mean-spirited. 
I tried to pick like people who I think I'd personally get along with. That's why a lot of my favorite characters didn't make it to this list. Like some of them, just I don't think I'd get along with them in person. Hermione seems way too much like I'm not like other girls. I don't wear makeup kind of thing sometimes and that'd get really annoying. Also, I love to stay inside and read. I need a friend who's gonna force me to leave instead of encouraging it sometimes. And also, she seems kind of bossy sometimes, I'm not gonna lie. Um, Zuko, I think he hates me way too much. Like, I am already an insecure person who thinks everyone hates me. So if I had a friend who was always grumpy around me, always seemed like he was angry, I think he just hates me. Like, if he wanted to be my friend, I'd totally be his friend. And I'd totally be like, hey, yo, I love giving out emotional support. Come here, you poor child. But I'd be too scared to be his friend. <laughs> so yeah, that's my imaginary group of friends. And sadly, not my real one. <sighs> I really do need real friends. <laughs> anyway, um, who would you want to be friends with? in a fictional sense. Leave your comments down below, maybe, please. Uh, if you like the video, like it. And if you like me, please subscribe. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow, bye.